Gordon. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, Gordon. Today is September 15th. 1995. Of uh, 2016, no. rather. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Happens. Um, this is episode 12 of the Bad Haircast, and we have been on hiatus for hella. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> for quite some hella. time. What are the, like, yeah. how many days exactly? How many I, days? I'm not even going to, like, I can look up right now, but I don't really <laughs> care that much. But I think, I, w- I want to say our last episode was like... <laughs> Uh, May, maybe? Like, first week of May? Maybe. Yeah. Fran's here. Hi, Fran. Hi. Damn. <laughs> Back in the saddle. I thought you were going to say, okay, that's that's enough. Simone! <laughs> yeah, hello. We're recording in my house right now. Yes. I have a really nice house. Very, very nice uh, pictures and paintings. And Thank you. We got here. Yeah, I like what you've done with the place. Um, Thank you. Definitely, definitely varied. That's how I would, uh, eclectic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you making fun of? No, me? no. Why would I? Pu- why would I make fun of that? I wish I could describe verbally what I'm looking at, but there's just so much. Like there are flowers. Like like. Well, this is that's my like vintage rather. corner. Yes, I have like a vintage, vintage pink corner. chair. This looks very classy here with, with floral art, and then I have my bed. And on that end, you got like like what an anime Spider-Man. What is that? Oh, that's my Shroudru Spider Tan. Okay. Um, and he's thinking <laughs> about Deadpool and saying Doki Doki because his heart's going crazy. Oh, and he's in a sure. girl outfit. Because Natch. And on top of that is my signed set list for the punch ones, and on top of that is my one of a kind deep dark fears comic. Oh dear lord. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have four vintage corners. I'm sorry. How is this a vintage corner? I think this is a vintage room. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. And then yeah. on the other side, I have some succulents and some shelves and a desk mm. and a pirate's pennant because I went to see a pirate's game with a bunch of Catholic missionaries. It was a weird time. <laughs> I think this is the coolest room I've seen since I've been here. Oh, Yeah, and Fran is sitting on a very classy vintage yeah. chair. Yeah. It's a classy chair. Yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry that the podcast is like an audio medium because you don't get to experience this room. It's too really nice. Yeah, no, we don't have the equipment yet to make the... To, to Make a video podcast, yeah, I guess, in, in that uh, we don't have any equipment, VPN. period. I don't think I want my face to be seen by people. That was the original appeal of podcasts, is that you could show up, like, just looking like complete trash, and now, like, every single podcast that anybody ever listens to, there's always, like, photos. Yeah, and, we all like, like hobos like, right true. now, don't we? Now we're all just, like, I mean, I do, because I'm sick as a dog. Yeah. But, um, you yeah. know. I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts, and Fran is wearing actual clothing, because he has to Is this really the topic here. of conversation? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had work today, so I'm wearing my work clothes. Oh. Where did you work? Well, at the Wusty Web. At the Wusty Web. No, where do you work? Tell the good people where um, you work. Google, here in Pittsburgh. Whoa, Google! Oh, you mean the yeah. thing that I search things for? Like that yeah, thing? Yeah. advertising company. <laughs> yeah. I forgot, you work with my friend Eric. Y- wait, Pintar? Mm-hmm. You know Eric Pintar? He's like one of my best friends. Bleep those names out. <laughs> He's my best friend. We're friends now. <laughs> So many connections going on. There's here. only room for one friend. Yeah, Smoan. Oh. Smoan, <laughs> you are you are a senior. Oh, University thank now. you, kindly host, for getting us yes. back on track. <laughs> I am a senior yeah. at the lovely Carnegie Mellon University, and I'm sick. <laughs> Just are those two related? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are a senior, and you are sick. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm like actually kind of dying. Oh. But it's okay. I feel better than I did this morning. That's good. Uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of. Fucking around until I graduate, and then that's that's the way to figuring it out from there. Well, uh, I want to stay in Pittsburgh for a little longer, but uh, you know we'll see how that goes. Here's the thing, Simone. Whatever everything Simone just described, that was me a year ago, <laughs> and I was fucking around until graduation and figuring out what happens after that. And I'm still in the figuring out part because I am I have graduated and I am like I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to sum up, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I want to stay because like, Pittsburgh has nice theater organizations. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I could probably get a job there. Yeah, eventually at some point. I mean, like, it, it's it's hard. I mean, you gotta like, you know, either do a bunch of gigs or like do something else like in between. You know, mm-hmm. like a full time job because like, I don't know, like, like having just come out of theater theater internship. Yeah, and um, the. Uh, Production manager uh, Jody is her name. She was describing to me. Um, she's done like six different gigs this summer and In one summer. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Oh, and she she was working at the yard, 
like the, the, the restaurants, restaurant, the slash bar, side. yeah, the yeah, Shady side, and um, she actually saw me there once, uh, which is funny. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, no, and then she, she she has like a lot of things she's doing, but she still needs like she's she's looking for another job right now. I think she just I think she just finished with the yard. Mm. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of my problem. Like I couldn't find work here, so like um, I'm actually leaving Pittsburgh on Saturday, which is wonderful. Um. Yeah, um, I, I applied to a bunch of jobs today. Um, trying to follow up on some. I went to a job fair on Tuesday, Ooh. which was um, I, I, I was like, okay. So I never really went to them like when I was a student here, and I don't know. There's sometimes I was like, oh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? And then I came out of I came out of school not having a job. I was like, oh man, maybe I should have. And then I went to the shop fair and I was like. This is why I never went to these job fairs because they it's, suck. Yeah. Oh my god! Like, 100%. I will not m- name any companies by name in case they hire me. But I, <laughs> but um, a lot of it was just um, standing around line. You have a little conversation with like a representative, usually like an alum, um, and you know they're like, "Oh yeah," and you should like sign up, sign your email here, or you should. Most of the time, they're just like, "Oh." Um, why don't you apply online? And then I'm like, why the fuck am I talking to you in person? Then? Yeah. Like, what benefit do I have besides yeah. getting a free stress ball? And I got a free pair of earphones, which is cool. But um, were they good? They, earphones? they are free earphones. That that should tell you the quality of the uh, earphones. Were they AirPods? Uh, no, no, they are not AirPods. They are not. Um, they do not look like tiny hair dryers that you can swallow or like. I don't know. So they're like one of those shitty wired earphones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, we're not, not courageous I'm yet. I'm not here for wireless headphones, but I'm gonna lose those. Fuck. Yeah. Truly. That's a great transition to Apple, <laughs> which had a thing last week, right? Did you watch it? But, um, Am I the only one who watched the Apple thing? Yes. Is this? Oh, is this where they released the new phone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is no. Then, there is no audio jack on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it could be thinner. And also, it didn't. No, it's not thinner though. That's the thing. I believe it's actually a little thicker. That way, they can have um, battery life. Uh, they uh, it's because they added another speaker. That's why. But uh, I heard yeah. it was a, like point zero one zero 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 one millimeters thinner. Did you just fucking make that number up? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I also heard it. So I heard it was a little thicker. Okay, which is like fine because like um, you know battery life, man. That's what people want. That's what the people want. That's true. Not audio jackless mm. phones, mm. I guess. Yeah. Then you gotta like, because it's like now it's it's still wired. Like there's a lightning, um, like yeah. earphones. No, but you can do it. Wait, 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 wait. You can do it Bluetooth. No, yeah, right. That's the thing, right? Like they are. It comes with <laughs> wired head the earphones. No, wait, really? Yes. They didn't come with a cool like your AirPod thing. No. Okay. The- <laughs> wait, what? There's, That's so. Did you not know this? Okay, no. no it comes. It comes with. With um, ear pods, like the wired one, like the ones that I'm wearing right now. Right. But instead of that standard headphone jack, it is like a lightning connect. It's a lightning jack. But like it has the, like an adapter for it or it's just... No, it's just straight up. That's like, crazy. Yeah. And the, so you plug that that's thing in bonkers. and you can't charge your phone like while you're listening to music. That is bonkers. Um, and then other otherwise you just, you just do wireless phones, I guess. People are getting... probably How expensive are they do you know? Like crazy expensive. The, right? the the wireless ones. Yeah. So it's like one sixty. I want to say. Like, yeah. Like for like five hours of charge. Like, wait, expensive. Wait, what? Wait, like, wait. like it costs one sixty. Wireless wireless earphones, rather. Like one dollar. The ones that I am wearing right now, but without the wires. <laughs> like one hundred sixty dollars. Yes. Six, yes. Dude. <laughs> Holy shit. They are very courageous. You know that, like. Th- I, I think I respect them because I think that's the way that we're going. But they're probably right. Like yeah, I'm, I'm sure, like like a decade or two from now, we'll be like, oh, what the fuck were we mad before? <laughs> but like, but no, no, that always happens. Listen yeah, to their yeah. wireless beats because that's all everyone has in the future, I guess. Because Dr. Dre has taken over the market. There's like some. There definitely is going to be some benefit to this, like in the long run. But it's sort of just a nuisance right now. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I'm not going to buy it because I don't feel like You're going to lose those, man. Yeah. They're like, they're, they're small. I lose like, every, like I lost my credit card for the third time this weekend. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
Wait, the third time over the course of one weekend? Of one or? week? Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. No, no, no. Longer than that, but like... It was like... This is like the third time in recent memory. Like, in four months that I had to like call the credit card company and be like, Hey... I want to cancel my credit card again. And what is your credit card number again. for the listeners out there? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, 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 eight. Anyway, that's, well, that's not what I thought that bitch was going Shit, you're right. Dude, those are choking hazards. These fucking... Uh, credit cards? Just, no, earphones. Yeah, true. <laughs> credit cards, I guess. I mean, if you're like... I don't know. If you're like, know, like real stupid... I don't know, like, how, like, wide is your throat? Because there's no way it's going to get through that. Oh, the credit card still? Credit or cards. Credit pump? cards. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's probably wide enough one way, but not the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a circular throat. Which Kids, if you're listening, uh... Try this out for us. Do not... Uh, do not try uh, <laughs> Don't try it and then email us. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, anyway, Apple is fucking nuts. Yeah, dude. Do you know what was... Do you know what was even, like, nuttier for me? So I was like, I just, I... So this was the same day as, like, the PlayStation event. They unleashed the, unleashed the PS Pro. So I, I was like, okay, the Apple thing's first and the Sony thing's first. I'm gonna, like, leave the Apple thing, like, playing in the background. I just, like, left it on the couch. Um, I was like, you know, I got a shower. I'm gonna take a shower. So I, like, you know, grab my towel. I'm about to, like, leave the living room. And then I hear... Da 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 like the one up noise from Mario. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Right, right. Um, and I look on the screen, and then Tim Cook's like, and here is Shigeru Miyamoto from Nintendo. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, Miyamoto? You're like Twilight Zone, like. Yeah, right. Yeah, and I was like, Am I dreaming? Uh, and then like, and now we have a uh, a like a runner. Not an endless runner because they're like levels, but like oh, a runner. Levels. Yeah, it's Super Mario Run, Dude. where it's just he just he's automatically running, and you tap the screen for him to jump, and like you know he jumps on Goombas or something like that. And yeah, it, and it has like the new Super Mario Brothers aesthetic, which I don't really like too much, but um, yeah. But um, I I was shocked and confused, and I mean I, I guess after a while, me tends to like they did oh. announce they were going into the mobile space. Yeah. Mitomo. <laughs> Remember me Tomo? Yeah. Remember, like, the, I still remember, remember Mitomo. Remember, remember, the, remember me Tomo. the week I you played me Tomo? Yeah. <laughs> I still use it every day. No, I don't. I've never, <laughs> I never downloaded it. <laughs> I finally deleted it, like, a week or two ago, because I was running out of space. I was like, why the fuck is this still here? Because it's still sending me notifications, like, you know, check out these new clothes. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I, I stopped playing that. I stopped playing Pokemon Go a few weeks ago too. I never downloaded that shit. I never. It was fun for like a week. I know it was like everyone I knew like fucking played that shit. Yeah, and it was like a fucking phenomenon. It still kind of is. I was super um, into it, and then I fell off, and now I'm just like, I've been gone. There's just long. not enough of a benefit for it, like yeah. me to go back. And then like the only thing they could do without changing the game drastically is bringing on later generations of the game. But, like, I don't really... Care. I don't know how it's going to work, first of all. Like, I mean, they're, they're going to, like... But they will, though. Are they going to, like, replace the old ones, the new ones? No. Are they going to, like, redistribute them? Like, so, like... And, and it'll know. just be weird. I don't think that'll work. I mean, maybe um, you got to catch a lot of the first-gen ones before you unlock hmm. the second I don't know. I don't, I don't, I've never played this game, so I have no clue how... I mean, I, I do know how it works. It's fine. But, um, it's good. It's good. It just didn't, I mean, like, f- flicking the phone to, like, throw the balls at, at the yeah. dudes, like, it just didn't look that fun. You know what, though? There are a lot of good games on the iOS that I didn't realize. Like, Such as? Like, Transistor is downloaded, and then I started playing that, and then... What is that? Transistor, you know, have you played Bastion? Actually, no. I so, haven't. but you know Bastion. Yes. So Supergiant, who made Bastion, made Transistor. And okay. so it's like... This is all just gibberish. It, <laughs> it's like an indie game... And or, they're both indie games, but they actually kind of have a similar style. Like Transistor is also like an isometric beaten up, but it has some like different. Like it's, you okay. can also make it turn based. It's pretty cool, wow. um, and the music is awesome and sound engineering. Cool. It's awesome. Like yeah. last um, Anyway, that's on the iOS. Also, Chrono Trigger. Oh, yeah, it's on my phone now. That's that's that was that SNES. Uh, I think so. That sounds right. Yeah. So they just put they just put Chrono Trigger in the App Store. Yeah. It's fucking yeah. Rough. Because they, they ported it to 3DS or DS, no, to DS, yeah. and then I guess they were like, let's just port it to the, the phones. 
So I'm not anyway. a, I'm not a big JRPG dude. Uh, I know that uh, Limbo also was imported to. Uh, that makes sense. Wasn't it? True. Yeah. I right before this, I was just playing Inside yeah. on the dudes who made Limbo. It's so fucking Played good. It. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, Simone, you played a little bit of it with us. Yeah, no, yeah, it's a fun game. Um, I'm here for that as well. Fun, yeah. Oh, God. No, that's fun to me. It is, yeah. It's terrifying, though. I'm not going to describe things, because Fran hasn't played it yet, but, like, Jesus Christ. Fran, get your shit together and play it. I'm sorry. I'm a disgrace. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. iOS games just don't really... Appear. That's why, like, Nintendo doing mobile games scared me. Because, like, there, there aren't, like, either track, like... Because, like, a lot of people are like, oh, they should just put all of their existing games onto iOS. And then, like, they're going to make so much fucking money. And, like, I don't want that to happen. I, like, think, I, think about, like, I want to play Nintendo games on Nintendo consoles. So what is how they? Yeah, because like it's it's that. like the same argument like towards people watching movies on their laptops, and that it's just not the same experience when it's on your phone as opposed to like your TV. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, like I I will watch a movie yeah. on a laptop. Like, I will not like watch like um like I will watch it just because of convenience, not because like it's it will like, be the best yeah, way to watch it. It's not the best. And way. also, like if I see like a new big like movie. Like, I'm not going to watch it on my laptop first. I'm going to try to watch in the theater first. I know. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> but there are games that I'm work. so excited for The Handmaiden, guys. It's not even, It's not out for at least another month. Oh, the what? Like, Wait, what the Handmaiden? It? Park Chan Wook's new movie. Oh, uh, wow. Really? got the lesbian revenge thriller. Well, Holy that, that shit. sounds... Yeah. Is it an that's... action movie? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a revenge thriller. Like, okay. Watch it with me, fam. I'm done. Let's go. Wait, when is it coming out? October 17th, okay. 2016. Actually, I'm free that weekend. Get pumped. <laughs> you know, I, that I, fat, he just instantly, like, accessed his calendar and just, with his new Google wired head. I'm not allowed to talk about it, but I might have a chip implanted in my brain <laughs> as a uh, test. And it's going to explode if you talk too much. <laughs> it's an aperture science over there, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I was God. walking through a building of lean and I passed by like somebody's office and they had a painting of Cave Johnson on their wall. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's a lot. It's, I, I've seen that like that like if you push the painting it will say a random Cave Johnson quote. It's really? Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. The great J.K. Simmons. Yeah, he does, he does great. Rushing or dragging? <laughs> he was great in Gravity Falls too. Even though he he I did not know he was in Gravity Falls. He's in Gravity Falls. <laughs> Yeah. I uh, know he was. Does. I keep yeah. forgetting he was in Legend of Korra. He was in that? What? He was. He um, was Tenzin in, in Legend of Korra. What else is he? In? He's also in. I think. Uh, but was he in Magic Quest? What? Maybe. Fuck. I don't remember. Was he in? Uh, was he in the Yellow M M&M? and M? How did I? <laughs> <laughs> the Yellow M and M. I made that like. Shut the fuck up. Table talk game. Wait. What? How the fuck? I didn't know that. Okay. No. Oh, he is in. The, he's he plays Bloody Turtle Taub in Bojack Horseman. Okay, I don't want Bojack Horse because it makes me sad. Um, but that's what makes it so good! Oh, dear God. Hashtag. I can't. I can't. I cannot do that. Have you watched Bojack Horseman? Yes. All of it? No, I, I think I didn't see the most recent season. Because people will make references and I'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. You should watch it. There's one joke in that season that takes 11 episodes of setup. That's kind of cool. I'm like, I'm not even <laughs> sure. that. I like, you kind of know what's happening, and then you forget it's happening, and then you're like, oh my god, it's happening. That's cool. Okay. Okay, this is a lot. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's so... It also is the stupidest show I've ever seen in my life, but there's, you know... Who cares at this point? That's good. I like it. But yeah, no, he is in Gravity Falls, too, which is another great show. Yeah. That's cool. You all should watch it. And then read Journal 3. Is everything on Netflix these days? No, it's not. No, and it's not no. getting a DVD either, which is really no. funny. Yeah. This is my impression of him. Ready? Of who? It's the slap. It's the slap from that movie. That he, where he slaps someone. It's that movie where he slaps someone? Yeah. Get me pictures oh, of Spider-Man! Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, yeah, Spider-Man 2, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Where he slaps slap your proper in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just kept slapping. It's, it's so violent. <laughs> Do you know who was in that movie? Joe McHale was in Spider Man. Yes, he was. He absolutely. He was like was. the bank teller, and like it was in one scene. And there was like a scene where like Doc Ock was attacking the bank, and like all these gold coins spill, and Joe McHale was trying to steal the gold coins from the bank that he works at, is... and then Aunt May like slaps him in the face, it's like bad, like <laughs> bad Joe McHale. <laughs> 
Where's the soup? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Six seasons of movie. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really watched anything on Netflix these days. I've been watching Cheers still. The the show Cheers? <laughs> yes, the show Cheers. Uh, yeah, are you Netflix. watching that on an online service? Or are you yeah, I'm watching it? it on Netflix, bro. I didn't nice. know Cheers was on Netflix. I'm on season nine. I remember when Friends came out on Netflix. That was like what everyone oh, was fuck doing. Friends. <laughs> Cheers is where it's at, man. <laughs> I'm not comparing Cheers to Friends, but I'm just saying. Like, I don't really like Friends. Classic Friends sitcom that's on, that's on Netflix. I don't Friends. really see the jokes. Like, at least, at least Cheers... Like, there's, like, wordplay and stuff that you can get behind, but I don't really get the joke. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, feel like half the jokes in Friends are funny. Yeah, but they have the last track. It helps. That's another thing I don't it like makes about makes you think. Because, like, all their funny. shows, like, laugh track was just, like, expected, so, like, it doesn't necessarily denote a good or bad quality to the show. But, like, once laugh tracks become less and less necessary, like... If you have a laugh track, all I can think about is that you're trying to force people to laugh at a joke that you know isn't funny. I mean, hmm. that's what I do. Yeah. I, I just like the theme song. To Cheers? Or no, friends? to Friends. It's a pretty They're good both pretty song. good. Let's yeah, be yeah. fair. Yeah. That was literally like what I thought of Friends theme song. Just like a... <laughs> <laughs> By the Run Brands. How you doing? They're one hit. <clears throat> I don't remember the name of the guy who sang the theme song to Cheers. Um, who's the dude who plays Joey? That's a... Uh, fucking... Um, David Schwimmer. Name. No! No, 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 no. The other one. Juice, uh, <laughs> juice. <laughs> David oh Schumer God! Over over again. Did you know what I'm talking about? There's a he was in David Schumer was in the OJ Simpson TV show that came out recently, and it's American somebody Pie just, story. Yes, yeah. Somebody just made a compilation of him saying juice instead of because like that's okay. what he called OJ. It's just juice, juice. Oh, juice. Right, that is the thing. It's real dumb. It's right up there with Don Draper says what in terms of stupidity, but still fun to watch. I believe. I believe. Um, for a very brief time, O.J. Simpson did, in fact, have a real- reality show called Juiced with O.J. Simpson. Well, didn't he have a book called like, Juiced or something No, like that? he had a book called If I Did It. Right. Which was a, <laughs> a quote-unquote fictional um, telling of, like, if he committed the murders, because he totally didn't. Wait, I read something on the internet that... Fuck. Some, like, comedian or something made fun of, like, OJ while the OJ case was happening and was like, if I was OJ, I'd write a book that was, like, if I could, if I did it, basically. He's like, he called it If I Did It, and then OJ wrote his book, like, ten years later and called it If I Did It. That's a great story, Fred. Mm. <sighs> that was... I'm sorry, guys. Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> Matt LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc. Joey. Matt LeBlanc, that is his name. He yeah. is now hosting Top Gear of <laughs> the... Yeah. Right. Good for him. That's weird. That's weird. Very weird. <laughs> yeah, I was like following. I don't really watch Top Gear, but I was following I the whole know. like the whole um, nonsense happening there because it was it was uh, Matt LeBlanc and this uh, British presenter named Chris Evans, not not our Chris Evans, <laughs> no. not not our American Chris Evans, not the real Chris Evans, but this this really mm-hmm. annoying dude named Chris Evans, and the, he, he he left the show, and now it's just Matt the Blanc by himself. Blanc. Wait, it's one, it's him, just him hosting Top. I mean, there are like other presenters, but he's like Wait. the like he's <coughs> the host basically. That's he's the weird. presenter. Yeah, like this, the like, imported from America. Yeah, <laughs> that's so, so weird. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Anyway, I don't watch Top Gear, so I'm fucking. Uh, I know a few of the presenters from other TV shows, but that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Chris, how's your week? Um, I, I had to cough. It, do it. My, my entire week was just to yeah, find yeah. by... Sorry, sorry, fam. It was, it was basically it's just this job fair and playing video games, because I haven't really done anything in the last three weeks, really, since my internship ended. Um, I've been playing. playing. Yeah, I mean it's 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 boring. Like I have no routine. Yeah. Um. So I'm just kind of like switching. I have an Xbox One now, so I've been playing that a lot. So. Um. Yeah. I have Halo's one through five. So I've been like playing Halo's one and four simultaneously, and I finished both of those. Wait, it's like like one control in each hand. What? No, like no, just... like I I do a level of Halo one, then I do a level of Halo four. Then one, then uh, four, one, four, and then like both. five TVs, each of the separate Halo. I, okay. I grow two okay. arms, and I. <laughs> that was okay. Yeah, I was almost very impressed. Uh, I did not really enjoy. I, I've only played Halo three, and I did not enjoy either game. Got you. Halo one felt very old. <laughs> <laughs> You've also been playing Uncharted. 
Yeah. Which I, yeah. I've i only seen you play, but I really fucking dig it. The three, I described it to Simone as... Yes. Um, uh, white man with half-untouched shirt trying to find treasure with old no, man no. against evil British no, people. No, you said it was national treasure. But it was national no. treasure, but with an evil Helen Mirren as yeah. the bad guy. Yeah. Um, I mean... Is it fun? Is it good? Yeah, yeah. No, it's... The no, Shorter Series is a great series. I mean, I think the first one was really rough, but that's because it was the first one. Yeah. I'm it was the to... first... It was the first game that Naughty Dog made for the PS3, and it was like a new system architecture, which is fucking right. really hard to do. Those guys are magicians. Um, anyway. Yeah. Oh, man, they make gorgeous right. games. It's insane. I, I haven't played any games lately. I just haven't bothered. Plus, my computer's been dead. You played my copy of Pikmin 3 to completion. Oh, that's true. I did do that. Accomplishment. In a very short amount of time, because it's like a really easy game you could beat in like 20 days. Achievement. Like, yeah. like 20 in-game days, not like 20 real-life days. Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. It was real weird. There were bosses in it. And I was like, what the fuck? But uh, it was still fun and calming hmm. and nice. And, and there were Pikmin that were literally just rocks with eyes on them. And they rocks were really with cute. eyes. They're adorable. They're so adorable. Oh, and, um, yeah. And, yeah. The, and then apparently the new one's a side-scroller, which makes no fucking sense. But uh, the one that's coming out soon, anyway. So is Pikmin a uh, a white savior story? <laughs> is Pikmin? Oh god! <laughs> no, because because while uh, at least in the first game, while you can argue that Pikmin do learn certain skills from the main character, um, uh, the crux of the game is that you're using Pikmin to help save your life uh, mm-hmm. instead of saving others. All right. Uh, but like they're getting benefits in the process. It's very he's, much he's, just, he's enslaving yeah. these Pikmin of color. His POCs. <laughs> he's doing no <laughs> such thing. He's helping them. Ah, uh, I jest. I jest. <laughs> Wait, they're white Pikmin. That's true. Whoa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mind blown. They're only in the second game. They're, they're in the third game too. But only if you play like multiplayer mode, which I didn't <laughs> fucking do. Gotcha. Yeah. It was also weird because they were like. You had three people you could play as, and the idea was just to do consistent multitasking everywhere. But that makes the game was, not fun. Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. Yeah. ABC, some might say. Yes. Yeah. Like how Olimar is Mario and Lu- Louis is Luigi. Yeah. Wait a second. Boo! I just blew up Fran's Google mind. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. a, the first game's great. Yeah. He's dead. Oh, and then, and then cool. like, the day before I came back to Pittsburgh, I beat all of Luigi's Mansion in, like, three hours. The, uh, the GameCube one? Yeah. Very nice. Uh, that's one of my favorite games. I can beat that game in, like, zero seconds. In Japan, they have arcades. And one of the arcades what? they have... <laughs> they have these things called arcades, where they have video games. No, but what, so one of the cabinets they have is, um... It's, like, a Luigi's Mansion, like, cabinet thing. Yeah. It's, like, one of those... Have you ever been to, like, Dave & Buster's, where they have, like, the Star Wars oh, like, yeah. fighter jet things. Yeah, so it's kind of like that, where you go into, like, a mini room, but it's for two people, and you sit down on this bench, and then you have these peripherals that are, like, like the like the vacuum things that he uses. The so Poltergust. Like, yeah. The Poltergust yeah. 3000. Exactly. Yeah. And you, like, so it's two, and it's co-op, and you pick them up, and you, like, play, like, Luigi's Mansion on rails. Interesting. Yeah. On rails? Okay. But sure. it's, like, all... Like very true to the game, except that's yeah, not yeah. the game at all. But it's not. but it's like Nintendo and shit. Arcade games are really it's like uh, like they're still they're, they're still around. Like I don't know who like develops these. There's no like they just you never like hear about them because they're just at these places like David Buster's or Chuck E. Cheese or whatever the hell you go to. Jinkies. And, yeah, <laughs> and like I don't know. It's really interesting to me. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, in Japan, because like when, when you like when you follow like game journalism, like they never cover arcade games, you know. You like, do. how do people know about arcade games? Like, do they seek out to play these arcade games? Is it just word of mouth? Like it was like back in the old day when like you yeah. know, Mortal Kombat and like Street Fighter were arcade machines. Well, so I mean, now we just play them on console now. Yeah, but yeah, true. But there are a lot of like like a, the biggest like arcade games right now are like fighting games and like rhythm yeah. games, and I think that. There are still a lot of the arcade, the arcade, not a lot, like way more than used to be, but there are still arcades where people go and like play fighting games. I think, like, I think it's just part games. of like the retro aesthetic coming back. That's right. Like, you know, like how record sales have gone up like four times over in the past like 10 yeah. years or so. Yeah. I was thinking about yeah. it because someone was describing like the backgrounds of the different like players in the video game industry right now. Yeah. So like Sega was an arcade Sega. company. Sega. Um, I grew up Nintendo. with the Genesis. They still are. 
I can't. Yeah. No, like, it's just like they're, 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 they're like their origins. Story. Like they are they are an arcade company. I didn't know that. The same way Nintendo, when they were first founded, they were a toy company. I didn't. No, know. Nintendo yeah. was a card company, weren't they? Don't they sell, like, those... Toy- I mean, like, they did... They were a toy car. Like, they did, like, make... Like, yeah, I guess the first thing they, they made were, like, started. playing cards. Yeah. Isn't that... Can you classify that as a toy? Dude, I wanted to know... No, but, like, well. a toy company implies that they sell just all shit ton of toys and not just one thing. So I, I just wanted to specify. Okay. Well, True. um, anyway. Well, I mean, like, um, Microsoft, could you say that they're, like, a software company mainly? Yeah. What did they do? Yeah. What was the first thing they did? The first thing that Microsoft did? Yeah, I forget. Was it just the, like, I don't know, Microsoft I don't know. Word? Bill, Bill Gates just made yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> I, forget, I literally have no idea. Yeah, that's I mean, they made a few things since then. Um, yeah. A few things. <laughs> and Sony, like, they're, like... What did they start with? Just PlayStation? Not, not exactly what they start with, but, like, what, like, they are originally known for. Oh, they do a lot of hardware stuff. Right. What's that? They do a lot of hardware. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Not just yeah. yeah. So arcade, toy, hardware, software. They all like different yeah. origins. It kind of like it kind of shows in their, um, you know, the, the way they did things. You know, like Nintendo always does like weird things, like yeah. you know, wave this wand around to remote, but pretend it's a magic wand. Um, Microsoft like consistently has like the best OS probably for. I mean, maybe the interface is crap, but like, micro, like Xbox Live is the best service. Yeah. And like usually the PlayStation consoles are like, eh, they're usually they're usually powerhouses I'd say. Yeah. And PS2 not so much, but like, you know, yeah. I don't know. It's weird because I was thinking how the PlayStation 4 Pro was kind of fucking technology up. Like, did you did you hear about this at all? I did, did you hear about this. It. I just like haven't been, I haven't really been following it at all. I know that like they announced. So they have like the, P- the PS4 Slim It's coming out And the PS4 Pro That was so funny Because the Slim was leaked right. Like a month before It was Picture Like images were leaked The box was leaked The bo- the console in the box was leaked It was reviewed on YouTube right. It was torn apart on YouTube Before it was even announced Right They <laughs> fucked up <laughs> Yeah Someone in that organization fucked up Yeah I thought that was really funny Yeah But um but yeah, so they have that and they have the pro, and so it's like, weird. It's, I don't know. It's like a like a half step in the generation, you know? Yeah. Because like it, it's just weird to me. Because like the thing with consoles is that like the thing that I've always liked about consoles over PC is like when you buy this thing, it can play all of the games for it, and it will look the same on every. Like you don't need yeah. to upgrade your console. Yeah. Because you know it's 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 it it is it you know. <laughs> yeah. The fact that, like, both Microsoft and Sony are, like, working on, like, these weird, like, you know, upgrades is kind of strange to me. Also, like, I don't know who has 4K TV. Who has? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if I've seen 4K TV. TV. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I saw some... I remember seeing some numbers, but, yeah, I still don't know. I I am kind of, like, you know, a visual, like... Like, what's, what's the equivalent to an audio file? Like, a video file, I guess? Video file, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Like, okay. I do like playing my games looking like as good as they real. possibly can, but, like... Yeah. I'm not gonna... I don't want to pay money for a folk game. I don't have a job, man. <laughs> <laughs> the NX, Simone, what is it? I don't know. What is no, the that's NX? That's a good question. Definitely, uh, yeah. I want one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, is that so same. weird? Like, we all, like, want, like we're all, like, excited. Well, I want one because I know that there are a bunch of Wii U games that I like and want to own and play. Um, and the last console I've ever had back home in Michigan was a Wii. So it would make sense for me to get the NX because it's probably, hopefully, going to be backwards compatible with the Wii U. So that I can actually, like... Rumor has it that, that these will use cartridges. What the fuck? The fuck? Yeah. That's like one of the leader rumors that like they will go back to cartridges with this game. That's strange. With That's a so weird. Yeah. That's strange. Um, well, regardless, if it comes out and I hate it, I can still buy a Wii U for way cheaper than I could now. Truth. So. Yeah, absolutely. There is like someone playing guitar outside. Uh, it might be. I can hear it like through the mic, which is pretty funny. Could it be funny. Dante down the hall? It's, I don't know if, if they're bad. Do they play? Regardless, anyway. Um, so I <laughs> It's been going on for a while this guitar playing. Did you only just notice? Yeah, I, I don't know why it's chosen now to okay. comment it. But anyway, um 
I, I am on the NX subreddit, which is the most... Um, oh, God. Dear God. Um, it's terrible, because it's just, like, people, like, coming up with conspiracy theories, like, when they're unveiling this thing. So, people were, like, absolutely sure it was going to be unveiled during E3. It was not. People were absolutely sure it was going to be unveiled, like, um, after Pokemon Go came out. Yeah. It was not. Um, people were absolutely sure it was going to be unveiled before Tokyo Game Show. Tokyo Game Show is happening right now, and it's not being revealed. And then on Tuesday, on Monday, rather, there was a GameSpot, GameStop Expo. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, like, investors and, like, GameStop employees go. And, like, they have, like, presentations. Like, this is, like, what's coming on. It was at the Anaheim Convention Center, and, like, they have, like, demos. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. all, yeah, from all the big companies. And, um... I, have either of you seen Attack of the Show on the old G4 Netflix? Yes. Um, Kevin, what's his face? He was the co-host. Yes, the dude. Yeah, Kevin P. Or, oh, the know. good guy. Turf. Sure. Yeah, the one opposite Olivia Munn. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I forget his last name already, but he was um, he was Snapchatting like pictures and videos, like, "Oh, I'm at the Nintendo thing. I'm presenting for it. You know, who knows what's gonna happen?" And it's like, "Oh, oh, it's the NX. <laughs> so we're gonna build the NX." <gasps> And, like, the rational people were like, why the fuck would they unveil the NX at the GameStop Expo? <gasps> like, fucking no one knows about this. Um, and then, like, he started tweeting these cryptic tweets. And, like, it was, like, coded to, like, every... When you put all the capitalized letters together, it was, like, NX News Tomorrow. No way. Yeah, he did that. That's, he did that. Okay, not that's only is bonkers. that... And then bonkers. he did another also, tweet. Also, that's the worst code I've ever heard about in <laughs> yeah. my life. Yeah, like... World like, World at least he's the Vision Year cipher or some <laughs> shit. Like, God, get your shit together. And then he, I um... I like codes, guys, although I probably said Vision Year wrong. He had another tweet, and it will, it, when, you, when you code it, excuse me, it says, Handheld and console. <laughs> Kelly Surprise. One surprise. Nice. Nah. And they did not unveil the NX because he was just trolling everyone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think so, and Nintendo did that, though. That would be... Okay. There's that would no be, way they would do that. That would be amazing. No, Agreed. what's going to happen is that they're going to... Like, one day they were going to tweet out, like, um... You know, we're going to have a direct at this date at this time uh, to talk about some news about our future. And then they're going to, like, probably have a direct and... I don't know, show off this thing and maybe have, like, an event where people can actually go and try these things. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, this thing is scheduled to come out in March. That's six months from now, which is, like, a really short time to, like, unveil, produce, market, hype, sell, you know? <laughs> <coughs> I believe the PS4 was announced nine months in advance, I want to say. Lovely. The Wii U was announced E3 2011, and it came out November 2012. Like, we knew what this fucking thing was for, like, a year and a half. It's pretty crazy. No, it's kind of crazy. Um, what is it? <laughs> I, we'll be fi- Nintendo will be fine. But, like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, they, they like, straight up said, like, yeah, we kind of fucked up with the Wii U. Like, we gotta, like, do better now. We gotta, like, make sure yeah. people actually know what this fucking thing is. Because, mm-hmm. like, people did not know Wii U was a thing. Yeah. They thought it was, like, an attachment or something like that. Yeah. Um, what do you want it to be? If you opened a box and it was whatever you wanted the NX to be, what would it I'd be? want it to be... Well, not too different from the Wii U. I'd want... Uh, backwards compatibility uh, for Wii and Wii U games. I don't want uh, like the retro arcade to go all the way up to GameCube games because you know mm. that's the one thing you can't virtual play. Virtual console, Wii U. yeah, virtual console. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, because GameCube's my child. I mean, yeah, it's, it's my son. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't like. I'm not super picky about like, 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 like networks and like. Playing games, graphics, and, more, like, and graphics stuff. And more yeah. Like yeah. as long as it looks good, like, like I think that we're all like we're all just trying to get to this point where it's like you can see every bead of sweat on this man. HDR, 4K, like, 60 frames per, 120 frames per second. And, like, you know, if you want a hyper realistic game, that's cool, but that shouldn't be the end all be all. The end all be all yeah. should be to make a good fucking game. Yeah. And if your only prereq is that you can see every bead of sweat, then that's stupid. That's part of the reason why. The GameCube what if it's a good game, and you can also see the beads of sweat? That's great, but oh, that shouldn't be the only thing. 
That's just me, the only thing. <laughs> like, that's why I love the GameCube that. so much, is that, like, it used the level of graphics it had, like, to its best possible use. Like, yeah. you know, like, it just improved on a bunch of older games, and, like, everything looked yeah. good, even if it wasn't realistic. Like, it, everything felt like it had, like, a definite shape and feel. And you I don't really I get think, that. Yeah. I think the much. GameCube was the most powerful system that era. Yeah. Like, compared to the, sure. X, the Xbox and PS2. Perhaps. And the PS2 yeah. sold significantly more because it just had more games. Yeah. And it had, like, a better library. It had more third-party support. It had PS2 a better, like, have, bigger uh, audience. Shadow of the Colossus? Yes. Yeah, that game's good. Yeah. Oh, man. All, all the Team Ico stuff is really... Is pretty wait, wait. Cool. I've they, only, I've only Shadow. Did they remake it for the PS4? Or remaster for PS4? They remastered for PS3. Okay. <coughs> Last Guardian oh, is coming out for PS4. Ooh. Yeah. Which has been delayed. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> what I like is that people, everyone's like, it's been delayed one last time. And it's like, you don't know that. You don't know it's the last time. Yeah. Yeah. So Final Fantasy uh, Final Fantasy 15 got um, delayed. delayed. Yeah, you know it was supposed to come out this month. It's coming out in November now. What's the other yeah, people were pissed, man. People were pissed. Why are there so many Final Fantasies? I don't know. Yeah, they're not the final. It's like, ah. Okay, I'm not going to make it. You already did. Yeah. And I'm chastising no you one, for it because it sucked. No one... They, was, they had a good reason for delaying it, though. Yeah. Because they were, they, they were like, oh, there, there are too many problems, and we don't want to have a giant day one patch just to release this game on time. Mm. Like No Man's Sky, which also had a giant Topical. day one patch. You played that. I played it for a day. It was not <laughs> my comp... It was not did my you, copy. It was uh, Anthony's copy. Ah, uh, I feel that for Did you um, try yeah, no, it's, it's back. I just put it in. Did I, he I play return it. it? What? Did he return it? What do you mean? The game. Just because I, I heard like everyone return that game. No, he still has it. I think yeah. I, I want to say he still likes it maybe, but I haven't seen yeah. him play it in, in a long time. Um, it was like boring but compelling. Yeah. It was like I, like I hated what I was <coughs> doing, but I couldn't stop doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's not... Uh, Oh, that's the vibe I got from it, honestly. Because like the conceit yeah. is fun is just being able to explore like infinitely, but being able to do that means there's no goals. Do you know what my favorite thing so was? Hyped. My favorite thing was naming things. Oh, that's 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 yeah. always fun. I named my first yeah. planet hashtag Jill not Hill. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> Jill. And not I Hill. named I named all the creatures <laughs> I found um, after the Republican candidates in 2016. Oh, that's awesome. So like there was this fucking spider thing that kept attacking me, and I named it Ted Cruz because. He's a spider thing. Yeah. Um, can we turn the light on in this room because it's really dark now? Sure. <laughs> oh. No, make Fran do it. I like it. No, I got it. <laughs> I like That's it. why I said make Fran do it. Okay. It's gonna dim oh, I can like, see. It's going to dim in like 30 seconds for Really? That's weird. Yeah, Wait, I don't know why it does that. Did but you it get does. that from Ikea? I got that from Amazon for way cheaper than Ikea. I think I had the same one. Ikea is nice, but sometimes you can find the same shit for cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> I think, oh, I think I got the same one from Amazon. Is that what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's like... Uh, we're talking about a lamp that she has. Lamp. Yeah, we're talking about a lamp. It's nice. It's called a oh, whole yeah, lamp. Nice little floor lamp. Yeah. Um, what the fuck oh, are we talking shit, about? <laughs> what were we talking about? Um, <laughs> I'm homeless. You are homeless. I'm homeless. You're st- oh, yeah. 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 Fran does not live anywhere. True. Um, we went. See, it dimmed. Oh, it dimmed. Oh, oh. that's kind of nice, though. We went yeah. house hunting in Orangeville. Yeah. In that. I'll be right back. You were walking around because apparently these like people in Orangeville do not put like they do not make yeah. online postings about like housing or like rent or stuff like that. So we had to walk around the streets and find. Exactly. Signs like for for sale or for rent signs. Yeah. We literally walked around, and then like yeah, and you you took pictures. Yeah, every time I saw like a for rent sign, I just took a picture. Yeah, you took a picture of the phone number. Yeah. Have you called these phone numbers yet? You no. Know, um, <laughs> here's the thing. I've been homeless for I think like. Where are you living now? Uh, Where know? did you sleep last night? <laughs> That's a question. Do you know Danny? So like his where he was living. In Louisiana. Yeah, where yeah. he where he used to live, no, where, where where he is living. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's still here. Um, I don't know where, but yeah, sure. So you you are staying with him right now? Yeah. Or you did stay with him last night? Yeah. Wow, and before were, that with Mariana, and before really? that with uh, Mariana, who has been on this podcast. Oh yeah, she has been. Yeah, she has. Shout out. Um, um, but yeah, for that. 
Another friend. So yeah, Shimona's back. Another place. Hello. I've been super lazy this week and haven't called. Well, actually, on the you way here, call I called people. a number, and they were like, "Oh, look at these real estate." Places. Sorry, I left them. I need more water because I'm dying. Yeah, that's a um, big, big jar of water. I'll figure it. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I got it at Target for it's ten a bucks. Jar with a straw, and I love it. Thank you. Yeah, and they sell them at Target. Yeah, and I, I, I'm glad I got it. I got it on a whim. Yeah. I know I use it all the time. I would totally drink beer out of like something like this. I feel like it would just make sense. <laughs> I mean, I would, but I don't drink beer. <laughs> Can't, guys. Unless you want me to actually like die. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to like force feed you beer right now. So. Ah, God. <laughs> we got no. just a long like straw that would just like. <laughs> no. Fran, do you like beer? Do I like beer? I do like beer. Yeah. I hate beer. Beer tastes like fermented body. piss and it makes me sick. Ooh. What beer have you been drinking? I mean, some beer probably does. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, for sure. There is good beer out there. There is good beer. Like. It all sucks. What are you talking about? It's a lie. Be- be- like, first okay, of all, beer. beer is it's like a very diverse thing. Like There are very different types of beer in the yeah. world. <laughs> it is possible... <laughs> To find a beer that you will like, I am absolutely sure of that. I do that. I dare you. Have, what, what have you tried? Oh, do you want me to find a beer for you? Yes. Fuck you, man. <laughs> so I have tried. I'm not doing this work for you. Well, and oh, also the try. problem too with beer is that like it's so, I guess, filling that like yeah. you get it like makes bloated. Me, it, no, it just I literally guess. makes me sick. Like oh, okay. way more than other drinks do. So I can take like a really small amount of beer. But then it's not, like, fucking worth it, because, like, why wouldn't I take a small amount of beer and then feel sure. shitty when I could drink, like, hard cider yeah. or mead and and uh, hard liquor? And be fine. And be fine. Yeah, beer sucks. Not, sorry, beer, like, <laughs> is shitty after you drink it, but it tastes really, I like how it tastes a lot. I've but always been, sucks. the only thing, the the only, my shit. only thing with beer is that I, like, Gotta pee a lot after I drink beer. <laughs> well, that, yeah, it's not even like oh, it's like different from like water pee. It's yeah. like a weird. It's like beer pee. It's weird. Dude. And then you have like, and then it's like kind of like your stomach <laughs> bubbles a little bit, and it's weird. And then and like your fart smell. Why? Oh, God. Why do we always end up? You and I, fan. Whenever we turn on the microphone, you always end up getting really oddly personal about piss and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why. Piss and sh- like little shit or like or the concept no, of shit? No, no, we once had a conversation about the phrase shit on my dick in a recording. Oh, I don't know if you heard it yet. Wait, have we? That's a great phrase. <laughs> you did that. Wait, when, when, when <laughs> we talked this? about how plausible it was. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Wait, when? Wait, what? 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 Uh, this is during the, we were playing, we were playing Spy Fox. S- Spy Fox? Spy Fox. Or, or that fucking, um... I wouldn't, I wouldn't know, because I've never seen this content. We were just playing Spy... Oh, true. Yeah. This fall is that, Chris. No, um... The other day... Which was, brings us to the next segment. What is happening to bad haircuts? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm on ahead. topic. Go ahead. So the other day, I was peeing, and for some reason... <laughs> like, some combination of, like, the food that I ate... Made it smell exactly like, like, Emmental, like, Swiss cheese. I don't mean like Swiss cheese, like like slices of butter. I'm saying like like cheese you buy in Switzerland, and then you like chop it, and it smells like really like strongly. It smells like exactly like that. And then I thought about my friend oh. from Switzerland. Okay. Yeah. Do you weird. tell them that Captain they're peeing on my No, but I'm gonna text him right now because I meant. <laughs> it, and I never did. That's incredible. I peed and I thought about you today. Yeah. That's it's incredible. So, oh. But um. Yeah, that was my story. <laughs> Chris, you chose us as your friends. I hope you know that. Oh. Do, do you choose your friends, really? Is it, is you can choose who not like, to be your friend. You That's your true, friend? yeah. But, like, you don't, like, you don't, like, grab something. You are my friend now. I, I choose you. You can kind of do, well. Uh, I mean, I've, I've kind of There are some people that. who have done that. Like, not, <laughs> yeah, exactly. not verbatim, but, like, that, I, that's not really how I operate. Like, I my, kind of, one of my really good friends, Marina, um... I met her at a party, and then the next day I checked my notes, and the, my, my first note was like, be friends with Marina. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Nice. Aggressive. Shout out to Marina. Um, the, the, me, whenever I, like, whenever I figure out, like, I have a friend now, like, it's always, like, a week or two later, where I'm, like, hanging on the person, I'm, like, wait a minute, I think this person's my friend now. Yeah. <laughs> are we? Are we friends? <laughs> hey, are, am I you? Are we best friends? Do we just become See, best my friends? friends <laughs> my friends, like, we tend to have, like, a really strong emotional bond over something we both hate. 
and then that's when I know we're fr- we're gonna be friends. <laughs> yeah. Like it's pretty immediate. I'm like yeah. we're gonna be friends. Yeah. But we're hitting a similar thing. Yes, that is how you become friends with people as an adult. Like when you're a kid, you can find every because you have everything in common. But the older you get, the more I found. I'm 21. Who gives a shit? Uh, the more that like hating something will be more likely to give you friends. <laughs> like just yeah. just both being at a shitty party and being like this sucks. Like yeah. that's like bam. You can talk so to them for the like, rest of the night and you're done. So the solution is hate more things and you'll have more friends. No, be more open about the things you hate. Okay. That's yeah. cool. Be more vulnerable. Audacity is Because I have a couple more things on my agenda. Right First thing is, it's like eight. Yeah. How do I, where do I eat at this time in Pittsburgh? I forget. How do I find things to eat? Let's go to Grape Street. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, Are you really asking time. this on a recording? Yes. Okay. Second thing is. We're pulling this to the public right now. <laughs> This will be released days after, but still. Where's Francesco E tonight at Thursday night? A notable amount of places are open until 10 on weekdays. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe you, but... Oh, okay. God. This this episode is dying now. Okay. Wait, wait. wait. Se- second thing. So, Chris, I know you're going back to Philadelphia. Yes, the Philly area. But, um... So, do you guys know uh, Griffin, Justin... And Travis McElroy. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Simone knows about them more than I do. do you, my brother, Simone, my man, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. I also watch Monster Factor, which has two of them. Do you want to go to Candle Nights next week, next weekend? And Chris, you're welcome to come too. <laughs> <laughs> if you like, get out of here. <laughs> Wait, they're gonna be in town. They're going. It's in uh, Huntington, where they're from. Four hours away. You're still asking us like a personal away. thing, okay. like on a recorded okay, episode. Okay, I would be down to go. Be relevant in but we'd have to talk <laughs> details first, and I would have to okay. be before the end of this weekend. Okay, okay. Show me the deets. All right, that's it. <laughs> but I would love to, friend. We're finally gonna hang out. Yeah. We like never hang out. We don't. So. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Anyway. Yeah, Bad Haircut Productions. I don't know what's going to happen to it. I mean... I guess we can do, um, like, like Skype podcasts and stuff or something. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah, I, think I could I'd actually, actually, actually do my real job and keep shit afloat here. Yeah, you oh, can yeah. release that their content you recorded many... Uh, yeah, many, uh, Sam's many in Dublin right now. Yeah, Sam is in Ireland. Rest in peace. Um, Rip in pieces. Yeah. God, I miss Sam. Um, Me too. Yeah, they suck. I don't think Sam's coming back. I don't. I think Sam wants to stay in Ireland. <laughs> oh, I know they do. Yeah. They absolutely do. Oh, really? Are they, are they like, having a good time? Like, no. I mean, they they even, be- even before, before they got okay. there, like, it was like, yeah, I'm probably going to stay in Ireland because... Are, what, what are they... Are they... They're not... They're working? Are they working? So, so they're, 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 still, they're still in school, right? Yeah, they're still in school. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. They had, like, some... And they were, like, at commencement, but, like, they... They like, were still studying. They're still studying. Or, yeah. In Ireland. Yeah, as long as you don't have to be a full-time student for another semester, you can graduate the year you're supposed to. Yeah. So, like, if you... Yeah. We work on units here. Most people take about 40 yes. to 50 units. So, as long you. as you take less than... If you need less than 36 units to graduate, you can... You can walk. Graduate. You can walk. But... Yeah. You still have to take class anyway. afterwards. Yeah. And Sam is across the sea. Um, the pond, actually. The pond. Yeah. She's across the pond. I have, I have two things I might release that had... The two of us are gonna. We I did not release episode two of um, us watching Fuller House, um, and I did not. Re- oh, we, no. we had well, we I released a Devil's Third playthrough, but um, we Devil's had a little. Third. We had a little supplement uh, where we created a character in multiplayer who who looked like Mark Zuckerberg. No, who looked like Jesse Eisenberg as Mark Zuckerberg, uh, and we we played around with him for a bit. Of course, actually, no, we didn't play it because we couldn't find it on my match. <laughs> Uh, so I will release those two pieces of content at some point. Um, I'll release a content. Shoot. Yeah, you should you should release all the content. Uh, I'm probably gonna be writing more um, for the site. Like, oh, um, cool. like the stuff you. Yeah. I, yeah, I still have to pay for like for WordPress and for um, SoundCloud, and I believe I've been charging you, Fran, like seven fifty, and you just never paid those. So I've just been paying every month for these goddamn things. What are you charging? I'm- for, for SoundCloud. But where does he split it? Venmo. Dude, can I show you something on Venmo? Like, what? Like, this is not, this is not the time. Again, this is not the time for this. <laughs> this is not the time. <laughs> no. 
I need to like uninstall and redownload it. Okay, I need, that's right. it. Okay, keep going. Anyway, Fran will still be here. I will still be here. I'm gonna be in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Amanda, oh, Amanda, yeah. Amanda, or her friend Amanda is is doing masters, so she is still oh, around. Yeah, she's still here. I'm um, forgetting. Keith, who did our design, is still around. Uh, Luis, who wrote a thing or two for the site, is still around. It's still around. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, around. Sam and I are the only ones who won't be here, which really <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, my my dream is that one day bad haircut will be a bigger thing. One that like I might. Maybe it'll be a real company one day. <laughs> but you won't have to get a job. <laughs> I'll be my own boss, you dude. Your own, you do it alone. Yeah, man. but I gotta make some money first to live the dream. I mean, like... Do you? Yeah. Yeah, um, probably. You gotta work. You gotta hustle. Yeah, I'm really hungry, That's dude. what they tell me. I'm really hungry. Dude, I'm hungry. What uh, are we doing still recording this? Uh, I don't know. We're almost on an hour, so I can, like, stop. I can end this operation now. Um, but uh, we, I want to reassure people that we are still alive and we are still going to be doing things, even though I will be across the state. Across the pond. Um, across the pond. Who knows? Maybe we can... Uh, Chris, are you going overseas? What? Are you going overseas? No. To your home in West Transylvania? <laughs> in West Philadelphia. <laughs> but, okay. Um, yeah. I might, I might hit Sam. No, I'm not going to. I was going to, like... Ask Sam, like, hey, if you're ever doing something cool, you should record it and maybe just upload it on the channel because, you know, that'd be cool. That like, that'd be, cool. be such a cool thing. It'd be like travel diaries. All they have to do is, like, videotape themselves with some, like, Irish people. <laughs> and yes. I don't think it's cool. <laughs> Irish natives. <laughs> the Ir- Irish. Yeah. Um, yeah, Simone. Simone will be doing things, right? Yeah. Um, Fran, I don't know what you'll be doing. I don't know. Dude, I don't know if I'll be doing anything. I don't <laughs> you'll know. be too work too busy working for the man. Yeah. Honestly I have so much more free time than Working I on to. Google shopping of all things. Bang. So have you ever used Google, Google shopping before? No. Like, do it. <laughs> so I can make money. Oh boy. Someone's microwaving something right now. Anyway, um, I am, this, this is the first time we were using Audacity instead of GarageBand because GarageBand been crapping on me today, so um this will be interesting. Yeah, it's like it's... Have you ever used it before? No. It's different, but good. Yeah. Uh, I have no clue when this episode will be released, because I will be busy tonight. Cool. I'll be busy tomorrow. Cool. Um, True. So I don't know. I don't know when this is going to come out. Maybe maybe just Monday night, as we usually do, but like that'll be... Recording a Thursday night pro- podcast and releasing a Monday night is kind of... Weird, but... It is know, a little weird. Yeah. But that might be a best option unless one of you two want to edit this bad boy nah, tomorrow. I super don't. Yeah. You have work tomorrow, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I have work and I'm so busy. Yeah. I'll probably be dead tomorrow, so. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, Monday night is... <laughs> God damn it. Ugh, okay, anyway. Any last words from anyone? I love you. Aw. Aw. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't... That was the you, listeners. But... Oh. Yeah. Well, I love you too, Fran. Thank you. <laughs> I love you too. Fran, final oh, words before you, before I murder you. Well, that's all right. Like, I thought I was the one who was going to die. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not in a good mood to, to be nice and happy. But, uh, thanks for listening. <laughs> this has been fun. I actually had fun. I don't know why. I think I'm just hungry. You were like slouched over this chair right now. You were about like, to, like, you're done. dissolve. I'm so, I think I need some food. <laughs> Yeah. But, um, I think it's been good. Then <laughs> <And> you <laughs> <laughs> Quit slouching in yeah. my chair. You can't see it, so. but you can basically, you can see in your head from the sound that that made. Oh, anyway. Sh- what? Oh, no, nothing. I was going to talk about that chair. <laughs> uh, I love that chair. It is 8 p.m. Thursday night, so, uh, we're going to be Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.